your smoothie, your tea, your orange juice, your coffee, your lemonade, whatever it is that you drink, your water, and let's take a sip. Yeah, this is so good. No more Starbucks, buy your own. But anyway, guys, it's Sunday, and all I really have to say is be thankful, be grateful, and be blessed. Continue to stay prayerful and continue to stay faithful, please. Guys, he answers prayers. He hears us. So please let him hear what you have to say. Call on him for whatever you need. Please don't look to people for help. Only look to him, okay? I'll see you next one. Thanks for tuning in to Tea Time. I know, y'all. I'll figure the day. Same as yesterday. So guys, yes, I am on my way out. I am going to head to the real estate. I'm going to the minute, but I'm going to bring you guys along for some. So I will see you in the next part of the video, okay? All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to get this camera adjusted. But anyway, I was trying to talk to y'all in the bedroom. My voice is still kind of raspy, but I was trying to talk to you guys in the um, bedroom, but Mark was Mark was in the bed snoring. So I don't, sorry if you guys heard him snoring. But guys, I was watching, and I think a lot of us watch the same channels. Um, the same people in general, like, you know, people who are like, have positive channels. I was watching Tanya Howe's channel this morning. And she was stating how, you know, people do, as YouTubers, people think like we are their family, like they might pray for you, give you encouraging words and stuff like that. But her brother was in the hospital, she was saying. And I'm, I think I think which word I got from what little bit I seen was that, um, I guess by some of your background, it will tell you, I, I don't know, that's the only thing I could think of that she mean, that somebody went up to the hospital, I guess, or called first to see if they can come, to see how he was doing and pray for him in person and stuff. Y'all, that is crazy. Are y'all serious? Like, this is just YouTube. This is not, this is not, like she said, you know, like a personal person that you know, like a family member. How do you even think in your mind, in your domain, that that is the right thing to do as a grown person, male or female? How do you think, I need to get over it. How do you think it is okay to do something like that without somebody not addressing it or feeling like you're crazy? Are you stepping out of uh, out of uh, what you're supposed to be doing? That's not normal. You don't never take it upon yourself to do nothing like that. That is so weird. So now it's like, I'm really skeptical now. I'm wondering like, and I do try to be very cautious of like my background and stuff because I do know there's people out here that's crazy. But guys, I'm telling y'all right now, please don't do that to nobody that is asinine that is very very out of what you're supposed to be doing okay really i'm just i just wanted to say that but i couldn't really say it in the house because i would have woke him up but that is part of my car chat yes i am on my way to go pick up a girlfriend it is my chance now to drive to this particular one because like i said between a couple of us we all take different turns on different ones that we go to so yeah but y'all this coffee this iced coffee is so so good i am really really liking it i'm kind of like liking this better than i like the um warm coffee or hot coffee but i had to bring it along because i had to hurry up and get out of there because i'm trying to make it back by a good time this evening yesterday i didn't get a chance to um go for a walk or do anything you know anything extra that I like to do because you know I had the boys and I wanted to spend as much time with them as I could and um, spending time with people is very important you know especially your family you know your, our days are not promised our days are numbered so we don't know how long so anything that I wanted to do I could do it today or the next day but it's not more important than spending time you know with them so I do put my family first, y'all. There's, to me personally, there is nothing more important than that, you know. Um, so yeah, just wanted to say that. So hope you guys are putting your family first in front of anything other than that. There's nothing more important than um, than family, family love, family structure, all that good stuff. So yeah, if your family's not supporting you, what are they there for? Because our family are our people, and they do come first 
and they should tell you when you're right, when you're wrong, and check you, all that good stuff. But yeah, I put my family first. And um, guys, I'm almost there at, well, picking her up, and I'll see you guys. I'll probably throw in a clip of how the bins look today. I think today is $5 day. I have not been there in a while that it's been $5 day. So I'll see you guys um, momentarily. Ooh, I almost spilled my coffee. Momentarily, guys. See you next clip. All right, y'all, I cannot have the, they playing music in the background, so I cannot, um, like, um, video for a long time, but there's a lot of people in here, like a lot of people, and um, I found a few things, so we'll see. Still uh, searching. Hey, guys, get your wine. What are we drinking today? I'm drinking some sweet sangria. It tastes really good, really good, but guys, I finally made it home and it is like 10 minutes to seven. So I wanted to show you this collective haul that I have, cause it is collective, cause it's like a collective, collective of colors that I like and of things that I was looking for that I actually was gonna go on Amazon and purchase some. And I said, why would I do that when I can go to the bins today and look for those things? And I did find mostly those things. I probably need to get another shirt as far as like workout attire, but I will show you guys what I got, I'm super happy about them. So I'm gonna show you the first thing. The first thing I got, y'all, put my pants up. I don't know what's wrong with these jackets. I like these, but they're too big around this part. But the first thing I got was this guy's this jacket. It's called um, uh, All, what? Do, 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 do. All in motion, y'all, I'm sorry. This is a small, y'all, this is a feather jacket with down feather, which I was looking for, looking, been looking for for years. So actually you can fold this jacket up and put it in your, put it, make it a pocketbook or something like that. But this is how it looks on. I wish it was an extra small because I just don't, I don't like, I can wear extra small. I just don't like certain things when you, when I get them small as you keep wearing the a stretch and stretch and stretch. So to me, I should have got an extra small because it gives a little bit, but it has pockets, y'all, with zippers. Love it, love it, love it. And the fact that it is real feather down feathers in the inside, I really, really like. And then it is black. So y'all already know, she's gonna get rid of probably two of her coats because this is one of my gonna be one of my winter coats because it's warm with the feathers. Um, although this is uh Final or something here, as long as you have on 100% cotton or a wool sweater underneath, you will be okay because it's not on your arms or anything like that. So it will be covered like I have on a turtleneck. None of the chemical from the outer parts will be touching my skin. So I do like that and I had to figure out a way, how can I make this happen? Because this is down eco-friendly. How can I make it happen with it not being like down on the whatever? So yeah, this is what it looks like. I like it and I'm happy. So this was all clothing today was $3. So this coat that would cost me almost $200 or more was $3. So I got this. I also picked up two taper candles for two for a dollar. They're really, really nice, um, pure white. So the plan for these is to put these on the console table by the dining room and those two gold circle base looking things. I got these, something I was looking for. I also picked up <clears throat> this outfit here by uh, Wild Fable. I will be taking this to the dumpster today. I actually picked up some really nice 100% cotton, was 95% cotton and 5% spandex. I like these joggers. I love the fact that they have like, as you can see, the cuff, the, like the tightness here. So I picked up these and these are, it says it's a large, but it doesn't look like a large, but hopefully they will shrink. But I got these, they have pockets and drawstring. And I think I was just sharing with y'all. I just was telling one of my friends that I needed 100% cotton, like workout attire, but I wanted to be where I can work out in it and still wear it on a daily basis. So it wouldn't look like so work out it. This is the top, which is an extra small that I got to go with it. It has like the tie dye at the bottom and it has like a v-neck right here so that's going to be super cute with the pants that i already folded up 
So thank God it has like this uh, base here. So yeah, that's how it would look. And I like that, it's a whole outfit. I really, really like that. So both of them are cotton. This one is 100% cotton all the way and this is 95% cotton. And they're both by uh, Wild Fable. And like I said, this is what it looks like. It has it on the arms and it has it on the crop bottom of the uh, bottom part. I also found these really nice 100% cotton and these are by uh, Kelsey. And these are medium, it says. These are 100% cotton, they are gray, and they are like workout pants with this part little thing here, probably to suck you in. I don't really have much to suck in, but I'm glad about it. But I got these, these are super cute, gray. So all I need now is a top to match these. One day I'll find it. I also picked up this Honest um, Gentle Gel Cleanser with chamomile, chamomile and uh Something ash cuts, but it's natural and it's a face cleanser. I don't use anything but on my face, but I will get I will buy this. This was two dollars. I also picked up um, these natural herbal cough drops, which are comparable to um, Ricola natural herb cough drops. This is the family size. You get fifty. So I got this for a dollar. This this was two dollars. It was two dollars. All everything I'm going to show you guys, I paid twenty three dollars. So this I got that. I also got this pillow, which is super, super cute. And I was thinking they was gonna give me something off, but they didn't, but it's, it has like a string here. I'm gonna try to do something with this because I'm afraid if I pull it, I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna see if I got some, I might have some black thread left. I will actually sew that up. But guys, this was $5 and it's 100% cotton. I just love the pattern on it. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna put it in here or if I'm gonna put it in the front room on that couch, because it'd be four pillows on that couch and it'll be just two here, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Last but not least, guys, I picked up this um, Casabella Infused All Cleaner Way to, uh, a cleaner way to clean. You can fill this up yourself with your own solution. It takes pads and everything. This was $5. Um, it actually does work. I had the lady put water in it. As you can see, there's still some water in there, but I'm gonna make my own solution. If you guys know, I do have the, um, What's that black and white one? I think it's called the old cedar. I don't really like that. And then the thing has been sticking. So I probably clean it up real good and donate it or whatever. But I like this because it's black, white, and it goes with aesthetics here. And guys, that is all I picked up today for like $23. So I'll turn you guys around. Let me know um, in today's video, what was your favorite thing? And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you guys. I have to get this. I'll probably see you guys in another video. But um, this is everything that I hauled right here. Pillow, pants, top, bottom, jacket, two of these, and my new mop. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go because I want to enjoy the rest of my evening and I want to finish up my wine. So guys, I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget, love yourself so that you'll be able to love others, y'all, so this world will be a much better place. Always set yourself up too for what is to come. Be nice to people, be kind to people, even when they treat you like crap. I'm telling you, your time is gonna come. You're gonna be blessed off your socks, trust me. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.